Hi friends and welcome back to another episode of Up Close with Lauren Show and Tell Live Unboxing. <laughs> Let's wait for some more people. Hopefully someone can join me. This is um, another live unboxing of Atomica by DC Icons. Um, this one here. It's actually a six-year-old action figure, I think, 2016. Okay. I bought this at Krypton Toys from Krypton Toys. So I thought of just doing a live unboxing again, uh, just so I can share some of my. Um, I've bought this several, several months now, but I haven't. It's only now, of course, that I've decided to share it with you guys. Um, it's twelve midnight here, Monday morning, twelve o two a.m. Uh, sorry, this is a Monday morning, Saturday. It's the weekend. Oh my gosh, I don't want to go back to work yet. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so this is by DC Icons number twelve. It's from the Forever Evil storyline. I'm assuming. Yeah, not so familiar with the character. The backstory of this is that I bought the Atom Man of Ray Palmer CW series. Let's just see if I can get it here without making a mess. Here. So it's because of this guy here. Ray Palmer's Atom Man. And of course, this is Brandon Routh from the CW series. Hi, friendly neighborhood. I was really hoping that you could join me. Hello, kumusta? Uh, so when I posted... Uh, my uh, review of this in uh, in one of my Facebook group uh, toy groups of Filipino toy collectors worldwide and also from LVIF uh, someone made a comment uh, showing me her collection of Atom Man action figures which is basically this one right and so I thought oh I would like I would like to get that as well and that's how it all starts right like Starts from one action figure to the next action figure and to the next one, the next one. So anyway, this Atomica it says Atomica. This is actually a villain. She is a villain, but comes with a package. Would be Ryan Choice, um, it's Ryan Choice, um, Atom Man, and Ray Palmer's Atom Man as well. Hard that I'm actually a bit stuffed up. That's why I'm kind of nasal right now. She is a villain. Yeah, she's a villain. Um, and so let's unbox her. I bought this on sale at Krypton Toys, a local private uh, toy store. Um, and let's unbox her. All right. So those friendly neighborhood, what do you collect? What kind of toys do you collect? I'm starting to have some collection of DC icons as well, but I don't want to focus on that because that's going to be another, another line, right? It's an old line. And it has an instruction manual. Also, you have DC Multiverse, so just like myself. Like, how many do you have? Like, what's your first DC Multiverse? My first DC Multiverse, of course, would be the Superman one, um, Action Comics 1000, and then um, the Wonder Woman. Uh, I do have this Aquaman. Henry Cavill Superman, my first DC Multiverse. Uh, so both of us are uh, Superman fans. Actually, that uh, Justice League uh, line of, of, the, of the DC Multiverse 
is my first ever complete line because uh, back in the day I would only just buy Batman and Superman and your uh, odd Robin I never buy villains I never I've never bought any Joker um, actually not true I actually have that's great yeah the classic suit is the action comics 1000 and how much do they sell it in the Philippines if you don't mind me asking have they also increased the price in the Philippines by the way so the backdrop is the same one nothing nothing special and again action figure is down here it's worth getting the golden armor actually nicely nicely done nicely painted totally worth getting that um, for sure okay so let's unbox atomica ryan choice atom man and ray palmer's atom man Oh yes, 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 yes. I um you can see Doctor Fate. Where? In the live action. Yes. Oh yes. Um I can't wait for Black Adam as well. And also I cannot wait for the McFarland toys. Um McFar um for the McFarland toys um Black Adam action figure based on the movie because the black adam right now looks kind of odd so let us unbox her take her out of the clamshell there she's out Free at last after six years of being in the in the package she looks see this is the one thing about review is that you cannot zoom in um, the camera I'm only using my iPhone small bill ah all right I'm just reading the the chat there so this is hi hi red room diecast hi bog now you did a, a live the other day which i missed the live but of course i watched everything an hour's worth uh i love your your display now how can i do that your moderator things like that how do you do that uh bog Okay, so I have three people watching me. How do you how do you how do you do the moderator bug? No, I don't know how to do how to remove this thing normal. All right. Oh, what did I do? Oh no, R Bog! I just timed you out for three hundred seconds. I don't even know. I, I was just playing. With 
Uh, let me just see. This is the beauty of live YouTube friends. Oh there, add moderator. Red Room is now a moderator for your channel. And let's friendly neighborhood as well. Add moderator. Ah, uh, okay. So what does that mean? You're both moderators now. And I heard from your comment during your live blog that you can now subscribe to each other's channel if you want. So both of you are moderators now. There's another one viewing. Oh, maybe that's me. <laughs> I was chatting with uh, DJ Bog a few, uh, an hour ago. He was on his way home. And of course, he has to um, have dinner, prepare dinner and what have you. So anyway, the action figure that I'm reviewing is this one here, Atomica, which is a villain, a DC villain from the story... Um, the storyline is forever evil that that is a storyline forever evil this is uh, this is um kind of like the female version of atom man i'm assuming so very simple costume red and blue yeah and articulation of course this is by dc icons from back in the day this is a six year old action figure that I just bought maybe a couple of months back. It was, so it was on sale. So it has that articulation and double jointed as well. And you have your um, biceps articulation. The red. I don't. I. I am not um, a comic reader. That is the thing. I just don't have the time. I don't even have time to um, at times create content nowadays. I'm just so busy at the moment with life, you know. Um, so you can. Oh, look at that. Do the split. And double jointed knees and it has you can just pivot like there bug i don't know how to un oh bug is gone Hold on, folks. I'm just uh, sending a message to one of my subscriber blog.
All right, I'm back. All right, so that's that's Atomica. Let me see if I can. And also oh, this one here, it comes with an extra pair of fists. Oh, and this is why I bought this action figure. It's because of this one here. It's like the atom, you know. And it comes with that stand. This teeny weeny at uh, at a man. And so that atom man doesn't have any articulation at all. And this is around it has five points of articulation. You have the head, you can pivot around. You have the arms and the legs, and then that's it. So let me just put it here. So difficult to stand. So this is why I bought this. <laughs> and, and for that too, but so that you can just put it on the peg there. And remember in the cartoon back in the day, and then you can go in here. Look at that. Isn't that cute? That's the cutest. This is the cutest. And like so. So I'm going to add Wonder Woman here. size comparison but it's not gonna it's difficult to stand superpowers this is a vintage canner superpowers ah okay ah yeah I don't think it's gonna stand No, it's not the Linda Carter Wonder Woman. It is, um, this is, um, um, back in the 80s, um, Kenner. <laughs> it's just not my evening right now. Like, I just turned one of my best subscribers into, I just timed him out, and now I cannot even... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry you're back thank you for being back 
I was just telling friendly neighborhood, it's not my night right now because I accidentally timed you out. I deleted your message <laughs> wherein I was just trying to make both of you as moderators because I heard you said it about being a moderator a while ago in your live. And so I cannot stand it. So I'm just going to remove this thing. <laughs> it's live. Okay. Let's just compare the sizes of this one. All right, so I'm going to. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Hilarious. I only use my cell phone, by the way. A Spider-Man show in Japan? <laughs> oh, so here is my um, Ray Palmer's Atom Man from the CW TV show. And of course, this is what we're just reviewing right now. Yes, Friendly Neighborhood, it's from the 70s. Um, it's actually licensed by Marvel, believe it or not. I actually watched that when I was young. This is Atomica, an evil DC villain. This is Kenner's uh, vintage Wonder Woman, just for size comparison. And you have, this is Ryan Choi's Atom Man. And this is the cutest, this is... Ray Palmer's Atom Man. Basically, this one is the original um, um, costume, and this is the updated costume now. Looks like Iron Man. So that's why I bought this, is because of this two action figures here. <laughs> Not familiar with Atomica, but that's what it is. Yeah. So that's it. That's my live. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to <laughs> do a better job um, in, in this live episode right now. <laughs> but I love um, Friendly Neighborhood. If you're into diecast cars, oh my gosh, you should, you should subscribe to um, Red Room Diecast uh, YouTube channel because and catch his latest live and you'll see his uh, room tour which I've never seen before amazing you check his channel and I oh thank you see bog you have a new subscriber friendly neighborhood from the Philippines some coolest hot wheels not just hot wheels some amazing amazing die cast cars and trucks you name it he has it <laughs> And I love the display cabinet, and it's all glass, and just the size of the room is just amazing, Bug. Amazing. You don't have videos? Oh, you mean you have no videos in your YouTube channel? Yeah. You should start create. You should start a YouTube channel. You know, you have some action figures. Just start from one. Just, just enjoy the process, you know. Ah, so also, yeah, with iPhone bug, yeah. Oh, animations, wow. Animations or maybe even stop motion. DC Marvel animations, that's kind of neat. You should start, just, just go create and release. Thank you, Bog, for the support. Anyway, friends, um, it's been, this is 25 minutes now. It's kind of long. But thank you so much. Thank you so much for the two of you, most especially. DJ is probably having dinner. I was chatting with him a while ago. Um, but definitely thank you so much for the support and friends for the rerun of this live. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you like this impromptu 
Oh, do you like my t-shirt? Uh, friendly neighborhood, do you know this? It's Mazin Kaiser. Oh, no, no, sorry. Great Mazinger. Great Mazinger. Uh, if you guys like the, you know, action figure reviews, mostly DC, please subscribe to the channel, like the channel, share it with your friends. Okay? Over and not from up close with Lawrence. Love you, everyone. And like what I usually say, always be kind to yourself. Always be kind to other people. Love your toys no matter what they are. Until the next episode, goodbye. Thank you.